movie. And it's time for another random retro bonus round. I am Joshua Caleb. And I'm Dustin Schmidt. And How are you doing today? <laughs> um, feeling random. It's <laughs> a good mood to have. Definitely. So, I think we're going to go with a PS2 game. There's lots of those. Okay. So, how about a random number? A random number? How about six? Uh, let's see what six rolls us. And six would give us Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Sly 2, Band of Thieves, huh? Ever played Sly Cooper? No, I have not. Oh, they're pretty good, um, pretty good platformers. Okay. I think they're done by Sucker Punch. The people behind um, Infamous on the PS3. Okay. Let's see what we got. They always have these neat um, credit intros. Cool. New game. Breaker Alpha Foxtrot. This is the wizard. Do you read me, sitting duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, wizard. <laughs> no, Sly. I'm the wizard, and you're sitting duck. I read you loud and clear, lizard. <laughs> no, I, I'm. Forget it. You're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley. I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. <laughs> Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. This is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm liking it. Comedy is the major strength of this franchise. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me at that security computer. The spotlights are offline. There goes the laser security system. I'm working on the security gate. Presto, all clear. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. All oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. I love how I'm sneaking, sneaking around a museum and I can just smash pots. Yeah. <laughs> and display cases. <laughs> Yeah, subtle? What's that? Um, attention all guards! This is the network administrator. We're installing some new software into the security 
daybreak. So don't be alarmed if some systems get turned off for a while. Um, thank you. You're all doing a great job. <laughs> Now the question is, where to go? It's been a little while since I've played this. Oh, this looks good. According to my information, the clockwork parts are being stored up there. Now to get access, you're gonna have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, the route through the garden is filled with guards. No problem. Oh, no. I'll just take the long way around. Take the memory long way serves home. you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. Cell City graphics don't look half bad now. Oh, it looks really good. He must have gotten lost along the way. Try pressing on it without him. Oh, oh, pressing on. Oh boy. <laughs> the blonde. Citizen, I hope you weren't harmed by my meteoropic entrance. <laughs> no, Murray, I, I kept it a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only Thunderflop. <laughs> yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course, it is nothing before the Murray. <laughs> So you, you want to hurry up with that? <laughs> okay, all clear. Another barrier stands before you. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, this is great. Oh yeah. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock <laughs> yeah. the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. I don't get it, Sly. The clockwork parts should be here. This is oh all boy. wrong. We need to pull the plug on this operation. Is it right set up? Uh... It is. Freeze, Cooper. Oh. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable, you <laughs> always return to the scene of the crime. The crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> oh, really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clock? That was a uh, very You've got the smirky, yeah. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. <laughs> it might not have been him, Carmelita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts! Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! <laughs> Uh, don't you love when they monologue? Oh, jeez! Wait up, boy! Shake a leg, Murray. It's time to go. Stop, thief! This wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, well, this is where things get fun. Yeah, well, when does it ever Come go according here, to plan? Tail. Exactly. It wouldn't be a movie game 
real life. Aren't you play this? Hold still. <laughs> this is getting a little hot. You guys go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita busy. <laughs> you guys go warm up the van. <laughs> Pick me up I thought you just said it was getting hot. Get the van cooled down with it. Right out the glass. Acrobatic, but she really needs to work on her aim. <laughs> Stop, thief! I'll find you, Cooper. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. <laughs> that constable Neela, was a reference to the claw gang just a slip of the tongue or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. The cinematics clockwork. in this are pretty good. He was consumed yeah, with jealousy for the Cooper clan's theme. I, I sort of reputation. like the comic book style they sort of throw in there. Him as a monster? Yeah, it feels no, like we're almost not at all. You know, playing through a kind of person stays uh -huh. alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line. Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He's more machine than bird now. He caught up with my Ooh. parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. <laughs> they turned out to be all the family I needed. <sighs> oh, that's funny. Two this years is a good storyline. I like thought it. I'd finished it. Uh huh. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of thing. Yeah, and they actually, they've released all and three of them bad. on the PS3, like sure. remastered. But the threat is real. And there's even like Does a third or a fourth one coming out. I think like next year. I don't know what's in my future. That's pretty neat. But yeah. I won't let it be a repeat of my past. Episode one. The Black Chateau. <laughs> so should we start this or should we pop in another random game? That is up to you. It is your choice how random you choose to be. Um meeny meeny miny. Let's go with another one. Alrighty. So how about another random number? How about the lucky number 13? Ooh, there we go. Um, let's see. How about Carmen San Diego? <laughs> I feel like we've played a Carmen San Diego before. Have Probably you? Not this version. Probably not. Bam Entertainment. It's a great name for a game studio. <laughs> Bam! 
Bam. Bam. Reminds me of Flintstones. <laughs> I am the last heir of an ancient African caste. And before I die, I must impart a secret and okay. a warning. Deep in the African jungle, there is a hidden temple. Behind its rock walls and metal doors is Taifal Jua, a great diamond of extreme purity, which legend says possesses a knowledge of all nations. Of course. Perhaps it was forged <laughs> to be a blessing, but it has been a curse to all who have touched it. An uh, ancient proverb says that danger is the brother of knowledge. Indeed, it is said that the misfortune of those who have possessed the type of now the earth is an egg stretches around the world. For that reason, ancient wise men hid it in an unknown place to ensure that it would not be found. There is no single kind of deep map for a Karma San Diego game. Instead, yeah. pieces of the map have been written on the skins of eight <laughs> drums, deep, deep. which must be reunited to open the temple. But beware, the drums are protected by a mysterious power. According to ancient legends, elemental spirits guard the treasure. The so we're supposed to be finding are drums this is good. guarded by if monsters. If was ever uncovered, a terrible power would once again be unleashed. Okay. Whatever happened to Carmen San Diego just walking off with the Statue of Liberty or the Eiffel Tower? The secret of the stolen drums? Before I slap handcuffs on you and throw you in the brig, I want a complete debrief of your That's first so-called mission. Where do I start? The beginning. I think you already know the beginning. Why don't you start he where you disobeyed like a direct Cooper. order to return to headquarters? <laughs> well, okay. I was backing up the server when I realized that one of the encrypted files was actually a set of GPS coordinates. He totally sounds like Cooper. I traced the location to the museum in New York. Since nobody was around, I went myself. This is a lot like Sly Hi, Cooper. Chief. What are you doing in New York? It's for, uh, Don't I like these. These are neat. Don't even think about the it. Comic book I want you back to the agency cool. now. I'm so close. Jules and Shadow are already on the case in Siberia. You are a trainee. Get back here now. She doesn't sound anything like the Chief. Carmen's not in Siberia, Chief. She's here. I'm ordering you to... Can't hear you, Chief. Well... Signal breaking up. <laughs> New York City, the Big Apple. All oh, right, the this is a Carmen San Diego game, States, so it's and educational. The largest city in the world after. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jump. Double jump. Um, stick fighting. Pole vaulting. Oh, I can roll. Okay. Standard platform fare. Ladder. Kind of like the pole vault thingy. Yeah. Wait, what did I do? Pellet cartridge. Oh, I can fire stuff from my stick. Hi. 
That was kind of cool. Ooh, zipline. Oops. I don't think I was supposed to do that. <laughs> ah, great. Back you go. This reminds me a lot of um, Sly Cooper, actually. No, I don't want that. I have to say, so far it hasn't been nearly as funny. No. Amulets. Well, Carmen San Diego like you said is a kind of educational. Or... <laughs> yeah. At least I thought it oh. was. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, trying to mix an educational game with an action platformer um, <laughs> doesn't always yeah. work. Yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah, we we got we got, we have to stop the game every ten minutes and tell you you know stuff about the place fact. or. Did you know this building you're ziplining across is built <laughs> and blah 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 blah, and how's the uh, king of whoever? Yeah, we don't care. I just want to kick some bad guys. <laughs> Press and hold. Though I do kind of like. Ah, here we go. Sneak, 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 sneak. I do kind of like the way uh, Assassin's Creed does it. <laughs> Where you, whenever you're in a new place or area or something, it'll pop up a little notification or a little um, title saying up in the top saying where you are. And if you like hit select, it'll bring you to a history screen. Okay. But it's like completely un unobtrusive. You could just ignore it totally if you want, and it would you would never know. Which so far this hasn't been completely hammering stuff down my throat, but yeah, we still have the whole game left. Do a pole vault. You can oh, smash it. Ooh, cool. I get it. Run, bam. But I have to say the controls aren't nearly as fluid as Sly. Okay. He's, he's a little sloppy with the moving. Yeah, it looks like you're having some trouble hitting some targets. I suppose it. Oh. That was just a plain old hit switch. So wait, what did that open? Ah, here we go. Ow. <laughs> Wait, am I back at the beginning? I guess I should have read that hint, or hint orb. <laughs> what happens when we don't read the directions? Uh, yep. When you don't follow the tutorial. <laughs> okay, what do you have to say? Pole vaulting and cross crosslord. I already know that. Oh, ah, barely. I hate it when you can't go up ladders faster. <laughs> yeah. Well, come on, I'll zip line. There we go. Ooh, combat. Health thingy. No fair shielding. How am I supposed to hit you when you get your shield up? Encountered a wire stretch between short from tight rope. I don't want a tight rope. I want to defeat this robot. <laughs> Fine. Ah! No! 
Oh, I can't say much for the combat. It looked very clunky. Yeah, it wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> How did it say I was supposed to get on a tightrope? I have no idea. I was paying attention. I was paying attention to the fighting. Use the move or move. It just says to move forward onto the tightrope and oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> you gotta get that guy. I think. I know how. It wasn't letting me do anything to him. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Why did he just decide to blow up then? They don't want to make it easy for you right away. No, just hit this guy an indeterminate amount of times and eventually he'll probably blow up. Yep. Maybe. He looks absolutely ridiculous on doing that thing. <laughs> This guy's like something out of Scooby-Doo. Just flailing his legs all over the place. <laughs> what am I supposed to go behind him? What am I? It's like not even registering anything. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Okay, well, I think that's good enough. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> the Sly Cooper was much better. Yeah. So, all right. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and be sure to check back randomly sometime next week for another randomly selected retro game.